data shows increases in breaches of the nine-week target mm -hmm. for adults accessing mental health support across Northern Ireland. In one health trust area, there was a 94% rise in breaches of that target last year. Judith Hill reports. I had to bury my son and I don't want anybody else to go through what I had to do. And so come on, let's move that mountain. Conversations over what to do about Northern Ireland's mental health problem are getting louder. Statistics show we have the highest prevalence of mental health problems in the UK, while waiting lists grow. Deirdre McCausland knows what it's like to wait. I just felt like it was just a list of numbers, numbers, numbers. Because it was around Christmas time, it was really hard to get anywhere. When I did get through, it was two months waiting list, six months waiting list. Information from Northern Ireland's health trusts show more adults are waiting longer to access mental health services. In the Belfast Trust between January and September last year, there was a 42% rise in the number of times the nine-week target was breached. In the Southern Trust, a 51% increase, while in the Southeastern, a 94% jump. It feels like despite having strategies in place, what's happening on the ground, people in power are not listening. So we can't keep fixing bis bits of a system that isn't really fit for purpose. A mental health strategy is an overhaul of mental health services and it's really, really strong. But, but you know, I'm very, very keen to hear the, the critiques of that and we, we're still working to get all of the aspects of that right. So um, I'd be keen to engage with that group again just to understand what it is about the, the current plan for mental health services that, that, that they disagree with. The South Eastern Trust told us delays are due to unprecedented pressures as well as the challenge of finding registered practitioners. They apologise to those experiencing waits, as do the Belfast Trust. We say the rise in the number waiting more than nine weeks is not reflective of the percentage of the actual number of referrals they receive. The needs phenomenal, so it is the emerging cost of living crisis we have. Um, we have all the serious mental health issues that people are facing emerging from COVID as well. Um, the biggest issue we face most community-based counselling organisations is the lack of funding. So while the conversations go on, all agree the need is great and getting timely help a lifesaver. It took two years of talking to eventually get to the place I was ready to be. And it's amazing. It's like being a butterfly yeah. when I did get the right service for me. It was brilliant. So when it is right, it can be very good. But when it's wrong, it can be very disastrous. Rugby now.